We're with you. Hey. Hello. We're live. Shavua tov, everyone. Shavua tov, Agita Vok. Shavua tov, Nikki. Shavua tov to everyone as well. Um, wow. It's, uh, it's Parshat Breshit. It's like uh, the creation of the world was this Shabbat. How do you feel, Rebecca? I love this Parsha. Why? Because I think that it's the foundation of everything else that we study in Torah. Hmm. Wow. Um, it's, it's like a powerful thing. Like three and a half years ago at Base Berlin, we had this Rabbi Tzvi Blanchard and he came and taught a class. And for two hours, he spoke about the first five verses of Genesis, the first five verses of Breshi. And he just kept talking about it and all this stuff about light and darkness and separation and creation. And one of the things that he said in that class, which always stuck with me is the darkness was already there. The darkness was there. If you look at the text, the darkness is there. And what does God do? God creates light and then pulls the light out from the darkness. The darkness has always been there. What's godly, what's holy is the light that he had to pull out. I also remember him talking about the word breshit, um, which is a weird word. I'm not a Hebrew grammarian by any stretch. I really, I don't know grammar in any language that I speak really, um, but breshit is a weird word. It sort of means in her beginningness. And I don't really know what that means, um, but there's a midrash. Um, the, it's actually the first midrash in Midrash Rabbah in the great collection of midrash that um, is talking about this word breishit, and it says, what does breishit mean? Breishit actually means in Torah. Reishit is Torah. Why is reishit Torah? Because actually when God was created the world, creating the world, he looked into the Torah, and the Torah was a blueprint for which, for with, with which he created, then created the world. In the same way that like a king, when he's building a castle, consults an architect who consults a book, God also was consulting a book in thinking about how to create the world. Now there's a lot of like anachronisms going on here. There's a lot of stuff as to like, okay, but doesn't the Torah come later and all these things. Um, but it actually reminds me of another idea, which is at Mount Sinai. Um, at Mount Sinai, what was actually happening is we were sort of creating some sort of connection between heaven and earth which is tied to a debate between Beit Hillel and Beit Shammai in the Talmud of what was created first? Because it says, Breshit bara Elohim et the in the, in the beginningness in her Torah, God created the heaven and the earth and which was created first. And actually what we learn from that debate and what we learn at the, from that experience at Sinai is existence is what happens between heaven and earth. Existence is what happens between heaven and earth. We are neither in the heavens, nor are we completely rooted in the earth. We're somewhere in between. We're in this liminal space that feels really impermanent. And we don't always know where we're supposed to be. I think across Europe right now, things are getting a little darker. I think across Europe right now, people are getting a little more unsure of what space is the right space for them. And uh, a rabbi of mine, Avinoam Stillman, came, uh, came for lunch today and he said that the people who fight against Corona really struggle. But the people who lean into Corona, those are the ones who find a lot of success. And I think that really struck me because a part of what we have to do is accept that we're living in this space between the heavens and the earth. It's to accept that the darkness was always there. And all we can do is dive into the darkness and try to bring out some light. So I hope that together now we'll bring out a little bit of light through Havdalah. Um, Havdalah is a short but beautiful ceremony. We have four prayer, an introductory blessing followed by four short prayers. The first over the wine, the next over the spices the next over the multi-wicked flame, and the final blessing is over the Sabbath itself and the separation between that which is holy and that which is not yet holy. Hine el Yeshuati Eftach lelo Yadonai, 
Shavu Atov. Have a good week. A git of Voch. Shkoyak to Leone on her two candle work. That was excellent. Um, and uh, welcome, Donna and Mickey. Thank you again to you and the whole Yuja's team. Uh, uh, it's really, it's such a pleasure to be here. And like, I, yeah, like, they, you know, the, if we're talking about bringing the light out of the darkness, Havdalah with Yujis is a light in the darkness of whatever Corona will bring. So uh, thank you very much to you for doing this. And stay healthy, everyone. 
the same, Shavuotov, and I hope that to this lightness of Abdallah, like soon we will have a new member of Base Berlin joining us. <laughs> not yet, not this week. We need another week. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you, Mickey. All right, uh, Shavuotov, everybody. Shavuotov. Shavuotov.